What's up everybody? July is finally here, which means that it's Criterion time. <laughs> Perry and Eric are here, so we're gonna go ahead and start our hunt. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put I'm my gonna start on this end here. Okay. If you want to go to the very end, I'll be here between between y'all sandwiched. And I'll I'll guess right, I will be I'm right going, here. I'm looking for one that I know that I want. And hopefully it's gonna be here. Online it said it was here. And the search begins. I don't see it. <laughs> Oh, um, for the record, I'm buying the Ingmar Bergman box set, but because of the price, they kept it up front for me, which is perfect because I'm wearing my Persona t-shirt right now. Oh, I found this beauty already. Which I'm probably going to get. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Laheen, for those who didn't watch my last Criterion haul or Blu-ray haul, I actually bought this for the Target buy to get one free sale, so luckily I don't have to do I found it. the best movie here. Is it <laughs> A perfect date movie, <laughs> as they say. It's a perfect date movie with grandma. Oh, never mind. It's DVD. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a DVD. Especially solid. Look how beautiful that is. Oh. Which, what? This is uh, Mishima, uh, Life in Four Chapters, oh. uh, film written directed by Paul Schrader. That's so stunning. Um, I have a review for this on the channel. Please go check it out. Um, I absolutely love this film. I think it's a fantastic piece of filmmaking. So I'm, I am. Yeah, this really is the happy director to, to that this. is completely different on the other film that we watched. Yeah, he's a he's a very diverse filmmaker ah yes i see um so yeah i'm really happy about this very happy did you say you found something there yeah what'd you find um ace in the hole billy wilder this is nightcrawler about roughly 63 years before nightcrawler was a thing um kurt douglas gives an amazing performance in this film um billy wilder is one of the greatest american filmmakers of all time um, Sunset Boulevard is his masterpiece, but Ace in the Hole is also great. I'm definitely getting this. And I'm also getting Blue is the Warmest Color. This is a great film. Um, I passed up on it on previous yeah, last time. Criterion Halls, but I'm definitely going to get it this time. Cool. Cool, cool. I got to actually try to watch that one. I've heard so much about it. What's going on, What's going on over here? What's the commotion here? I told Eric I was going to get this because it's uh, breaking the waves. <laughs> but he said it was Moonrise Kingdom. I was like, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> it's a great film though, but I already own this, so I might wait. Do you want to break the waves? Oh, that's actually breaking the waves? Oh, okay. thanks. Okay. That's so cool. I, don't know, I, don't I guess know I could see. This is open, see but the... it's open. Oh. oh. The Virgin Spring by oh, Ingmar no. Bergman. <laughs> what? Well, who's the... Boy, I wouldn't trust it. Then. No, yeah. Right? yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. That's <laughs> awful. Something. Someone said if they can't have it, no one will. Bicycle Thieves, oh, yeah. Essential Film, Italian Neo Realism That's at its best. Film. It is a great film. I'm definitely buying this. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm buying exactly this for me. For later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> breaking the breaking the waves. I get is there a, was I was I warranted to get these confused? I don't know. Probably not. You're, you're, no, you're warranted. <laughs> I get, I get the water and sky. Oh, there it is. This is my must buy. Oh, I the love that life. one. It's a yeah, it's wonderful. What a slices of life. So I am I am gonna get this more than likely. So wasn't a fan of this film's ending, but you know what? Most of the film was pretty damn you're great. Gonna, so you're gonna, oh, okay. Taste of uh, oh, didn't like you the way taste that. Taste of cherry. Taste of cherry. Oh, <laughs> I, I already have the film. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> really? We're trying to put you on Oh, there you I didn't think that they would have the Coker trilogy. Abbas Kurastami is my fifth favorite filmmaker of all time. Our friend uh, uh, Mike is actually bringing it down from Boston for me, and he's also bringing me safe on Criterion. So I'm not going to get this because he bought it for me, and I'm just going to pay him back. Yeah, ain't that so sweet, Mike? This, but maybe another day. For those who don't know, this is like a... 10 hour like documentary on the holocaust oh it's like very extensive and uh yeah i do like to I learn like about that. that oh snap I'm it's very interesting i daniel blake oh i did like that also have a review well. for this film i am more than likely going to take this home freaking the waves might not make the cut after all we'll see did you watch beyond the hill yet should i get it i haven't watched it yet oh, dude. Okay. yeah I don't blind buy. Beyond the Hills is a film. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't blind buy. Because I don't do that. I did it two times. And <laughs> you see, I blind bought Naked, and that's a great film, but I'm afraid of blind buying. I really am. I blind bought the I, thin I red feel line. that. I blind bought the thin red line, and I didn't like it very much, but I gave it to Here's Perry. Here's your next again. blind buy. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm blind buying this. 
Friday, oh, summer day. I'm gonna do a review for this uh, this month actually because it's Perry's uh, fifty dollar patron request. I'm really excited for this. So. I already own it. Look at you. Well, look at you. This is for my. I got a review on this too. This for my friend Mike. Cocker trilogy. <laughs> the Cocker trilogy. <laughs> the Cocker trilogy is great. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, something mm -hmm. I want to get. This is the Modern Times, only Charlie Chaplin film I've seen. I want to check out more Charlie Chaplin. This is a great film. I'm getting this. I'm sorry to be here. It's okay. Oh, The Seventh Seal. That is a pretty good movie. This is a film I'm actually going to burn by. Uh, Betty Blue, um, our good friend Charlotte, recommended this film for me, and it looks promising, so. All right. Seventh Seal, I have a review on this as well. I really like this film. It had very hitting humorous moments. This is, yeah, people don't right? tend to talk about this as a comedy, but this is actually a pretty humorous film. Yeah. So I want to shed light on that. Um, yeah, I'll put this in the pile. Um, this is not a for it's sure, a for sure, but it might make the cut. <laughs> well, another a must buy blind buy for me. I think I'm really going to like this film, The Ascent. Oh, yeah, that's, that's directed by the wife of Elam Kilim Kimoff. Yeah, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, yeah. she made another film. See, yeah. yeah. Cool, um, cool. I already own that film. It's an excellent film. I found something. But this way. Dead Man, Jim Jarmusch. I have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, Dead Man is great. Um, probably my second favorite Jim Jarmusch film after Patterson. Cool. I'm definitely getting that. Y'all both already on Taste of Cherry, right? Yes. yes. Did I get this? I liked it. Don't know if I... You know, I'll put it in the pile. <laughs> oh, it's happening. I'm not and there it goes well. <laughs> and it's gone <laughs> really they have it on dvd but they don't have it on blu-ray oh, fast times at ridgemont high they have it on dvd but not blu-ray i got something for you guys don't tell them what it is yet oh well, let's see a little good look over there perry <laughs> what is it <laughs> so this is what i'm gonna get perry Oh man! What am I looking at? Let me get that oh, for you. No, you're gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy that for you. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. that's great. I got that for you, bro. You gotta pick. Put it in your stack. Right? I'm, okay. I'm gonna get that for Perry. Oh. I just watched this. This is actually our blind watch recommendation for our Discord. Only five dollars to join if you become a yeah. Patreon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what a good. See, friend. that's why I'm buying that for Perry. <laughs> this <laughs> masterpiece. This film is incredibly hypnotic. Um, I can see it being really slow and boring for a lot of people, but this film is absolutely brilliant by the way recommended by cynic the critic in the comment section oh yeah shout out to cynic yeah being well, john markovich definitely gonna add it I've it's a good one. Oh, I, yep. I just found two more um good mm -hmm. morning i didn't pick this up last time when we did the 30 percent off sale this is the only ozu film i've seen this is uh, another great film i know keep on using the word great but it's a good word. There's so many. There's it's so much stuff. amazing cinema here. Um, graduation. Um, same director as Four Months, Three Weeks, and Two Days. Um, we we actually watched this for the Discord, and this is probably one of the best recommendations uh, Carlos has ever given me. Aww. I own that film already. It's fantastic. Anybody want Solaris? Solaris. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm not exactly on it. sure. You already on it. I liked it, but I don't know if I own it. I'm sad I don't, I don't see Memories of Murder. Man, Memories of Murder I don't think is here, sadly. I don't know what the Memories of Murder shirt, too. I'm taking that. Oh, Fantastic Planet? Yeah. Um, oh, it's not called one. Mediocre Planet. It's not called Average Planet. <laughs> it's called Fantastic Planet. Fantastic. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it is pretty fantastic. Yes, it is pretty fantastic. The Devil's Backbone of the film. This is one of oh, the God. first blind buy <laughs> criterions I, I bought. Um. I don't regret buying it, even though I wasn't a huge fan of it. I, I'm still glad I own it. It's a neat little uh, Guillermo del Toro film yeah. before he made Pan's Labyrinth. This is like, this is like kind of like, it's like this film really wanted to be Pan's Labyrinth, but it's like he didn't but have did the juices quite yet for it. Oh, <laughs> oh funny um, games. Funny games. I got a lot of crap for this uh, last haul because I actually prefer the 2007 version. But the 97 version is still excellent. I mean, it, I love how Mikhail Hanukkah challenges uh, violence and the way it's portrayed in cinema and the glorification of violence. Um, it's just such a brilliant film, and I can see it rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. But Mikhail Hanukkah is my second favorite filmmaker of all time, and this is definitely one of his best. 
I have videos on it, by the way. I have a scene analysis on it, and I have a review on it. <laughs> I have to show. I have to show. <laughs> the shameless shilling. Shameless show. I gotta do it, man. How will we live? Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> I might get it finally. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. Yes. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> oh, you mean the one you always put back? Yeah, I always put this back. Like every single hunt, I always grab it and put it back. I mean, but I probably get I this over the waves. It Ouch. does it. It's, it's, it's not it's, my favorite one. There. But it is a really interesting, unique kind of film. I have a video on oh, it yes. too. If it, you want to hear me go in full. It sure is depth, interesting. Full in depth thoughts. I have a review, so please check that out. Come and see, I already have it. Let's see. Oh, I found something I want. Inside Lou and Davis. Oh God, I want that movie. Do you want it? I can take it. No, it's okay, you can have it. Are you sure you drove and it's yeah. your channel? No, it's okay, bro. Okay. Oh, that's uh, sweet. Anyways, Inside Lou and Davis, I actually recommended this to Carlos. Oh, I think it was cute one. back in January or February. Uh, this is an excellent film. Um, Cohen Brothers just consistently make amazing films, and this is definitely one of them. Oh, and I'm also getting Ghost World. It's one of my favorite cult comedy. Um, this really, this really defines my sense of humor right here. This is a great film. Uh, Cool. It's a shame that Thora Birch really fell off, um, and it's funny because you get an early Scarlett Johansson in this film, and she's also great cool. in this film. I'm definitely getting this. It's funny because like a lot of people think that this Jules and Jim, hold on, let me put this down, sure. is it's not an accurate portrayal of uh, love. It's definitely not. But what it is, it's a, it's a great film about friendship and loyalty. Um, I think it was a huge inspiration on The Climb, which was definitely one of my favorite films of uh, 2020. Um, this is a great film. Not as good as 400 Blows, uh, but definitely worth checking out. I also found The Killing. Um, oh, I own that. Um, I haven't seen it though. Carlos hasn't seen it yet. I have watched this, and this was before Stanley Kubrick became a god, but it's still a great film. That's awesome. Because even lesser Kubrick is still great. I mean, yep. he's the greatest filmmaker who ever lived, um, or will live for that matter. Yes. So I'm definitely <laughs> getting this. this. The Great What's, Dictator? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, okay. And, I, hear, I hear it's fantastic. An easy uh, oh. must buy 10 out of 10, but oh. I'm picking it up. Oh, I did like that one. I yes. want that. Who recommended that one? I did. Um, oh, oh okay. Look at you. Yeah. I have a review on 12 Angry Men. Please watch. You got five, six, seven. It's a, it's a mighty pile there. Anybody want Andre Rublev? I haven't seen it yet. I don't blind buy, even though I love Tarkovsky. <laughs> I don't blind buy. Not like you cavemen. <laughs> no. He's not into that gambling. Well, I don't have to because I've seen so much Kena. He's telling me, yes. Les Samurai. This is a great film. La fiche de chocolat. <laughs> La fiche de chocolat. Um, this redefined the word cool to me. This is one of the coolest films I have ever seen. Um, there's a lack of close-ups in the film. It intentionally keeps you at, um, keeps the audience at a distance, at um, arm's length. It's it's a great and uh, really cool film. Everybody, I know. Everybody got Barry Lyndon already, right? Yeah. Okay. I know that's a weird way to describe it, but... It's it's such a cool movie that a nerd like me shouldn't even be enjoying it, <laughs> uh, but I do. I Shut love this nerd. film. <laughs> you know what you're talking about? I'm being nerdy. Gosh, nerds with their nerds and their fucking Criterion's nerds and Kinos. Fails. <laughs> Fails. Oh, God, these fingers—they just. Yo, y'all need to watch the Elephant Man. Up. I guess they could be in the only one that's watched the Elephant Man. Oh, that's a shame. This it's a it's not bad. Film. Europa, Lars von Trier film that I heard was not very good. That's uh, that's actually not um, Europa von Trier's. Europa. Yeah, that's not. There's two different Europas on Christian. Oh, really? Man. Oh. Not fatal and mistake. For some reason, von Trier's Europa <laughs> my my Kino Earth. Lord intelligence has just been put in question. One, meantime, uh, Mike Lee, not as good as Naked, oh, um, but okay. still a very good movie. And Tim Roth is fantastic in this film. Gary Oldman gives a very notable performance as well. Um, apparently this was a huge inspiration Ooh, on the Safties, nice. and I'm definitely taking it. This is a really good movie. I'm buying this. This film is spectacular. Um, 
I don't want to go too in depth, but this is a film that's it's like a it's a Japanese horror film made in the '60s, is that 1968. It's a real haunting love story, actually, in a way, and it's um it's got some brilliant filmmaking. I mean, the camera work in it, the sound design, um, it's absolutely beautiful. But again, in a really haunting <laughs> way, and um, it's a great <laughs> film. The, the, the third act of it. Um, I feel like isn't it's probably the weakest act in a way, but the first two acts I think are absolutely spectacular. Who, who recommended that actually? I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> who recommended that to you? That was uh, uh, I'm quite curious. I, I think I did. No, it was definitely me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it was definitely me. That was uh, Andre Tarkovsky. Yeah, Yojimbo and Shanzuro. I love Kurosawa. Yojimbo is excellent. Um, Shanzuro is also great. I'm definitely getting this box set. <laughs> Oh, you think that's Look at my pile. <laughs> it's called uh, In the Realm of the Senses. There's a there's a really loving scene that Mike always talks about. Oh, Mike. It's a little sad out there. <laughs> do y'all own, um, own the Cremator? Yes. yes. It's a really good one, too. Cremator, fantastic film. I have. Sure. Fantastic yeah, film. Yeah, we got it last time. I already have this. It's a, I have a video on it, too. Check it out. It's a, it's a film that's way ahead of its time. The uh, Czech... It's check, new wave. check, check new rave, check new wave. Uh, it's from Czech Republic. Look on my favorite films. Got one. Got some more, Perry. Uh, Sid and Nancy, uh, Alex Cox. Everyone knows if you follow this channel, I love Repo Man. This is also a really good film, shot by Roger Deakins, and of course, it looks fantastic. Uh, this is my favorite Gary Oldman performance, actually. Um, I forgot the actress who plays Nancy Sponge in, but she's also great. A lot of people that love Sex Pistols are really hate this movie because apparently it's not an accurate portrayal. Um, but I like that Alex Cox doesn't glamorize Sid Vicious as this larger than life rock star. What he was was a out of touch uh, heroin junkie, unfortunately. Um, because I think we idolize celebrities and we put them on a, a unrealistic pedestal. And I like how this is a more honest portrayal. Cool, I cool. have my next blind wreck for the Discord. I'm obviously not gonna point it out. But I'm <laughs> it's a secret until yeah. then. <laughs> it's a secret until tomorrow. Oh, you got the you got the Scott, the Scotty trilogy? Yeah, fuck it. Oh shit. It's got Koyana Scotty and the two films. Oh, you're gonna Scotsy. get it. Even it's though awesome. I hear they're not as good, but whatever. Oh, you're gonna commit. All piece of that action. Womp <laughs> womp for me compared to Perry's. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna have to put a couple of these back. Ooh, Secrets and Lies. Yet another Mike Lee film. Um, I think I might actually... No, I still like Naked more, but this really gives Naked a run for its money. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the plot of this movie, but everyone should check this out. Secrets and Lies, definitely check it out. Cool. I think I'm done. I might just go ahead and go separate more shit. Yeah. All right, follow me. All right. We'll do it right here. Yeah. So we got... Oh, Kittles. The must-read. Velvet. I, Daniel Blake. Mishima. This is a must-have. I don't have to even think about that. Must-have. Um, must-have. Kuroneko. Uh, a Blind by a Brighter Summer Day. Andrew Yang. What in the world? Record that. Record that. <laughs> what just happened? Clean it up! Paranormal activity in Barnes and Noble. <laughs> yeah, goes right in the front. You know what? I'm gonna ask them if they have that one for my What's that? Okay. Okay, Alright, hold me back over here again. So these two. I'm a slave. <laughs> I'm a slurry. Brighter Summer Day, must have. Mishima, must have. Kuroneko, must have. Um, now I've got to decide between these. I think I'm gonna get. By Daniel Blake and I think I have to put Blue Velvet back again I'll get oh, yes. probably yes. seven seal you go back once more <laughs> Are you came from it's in stock, it's in stock? Yes. okay cool so these Yay. I'm gonna put these back taste of cherry is going back Aww. breaking the waves is going back oh yeah and good. yes and blue velvet's going back but this is my it's gonna be my personal haul 
Seventh Seal, Daniel Blake, Current Echo, A Brighter Summer Day, and Mishima, which is the one I'm most excited oh, about. It's so golden, just like the scenes. So that's so mine. Nice. And also I'm getting Perry one. I'm getting him a, a freebie. It's okay. gonna be, um, hmm? I'm gonna buy him Woman in the Dunes. All right. Now, put this here, I'm gonna put these back in their spot. I don't want anybody to think we don't put the yeah. blue back in their spot, because we do. Oh, Oof. snap. Oh boy. <laughs> There's nowhere else to put them, right? No. Oh, let me count how many I have. I'm gonna put it here a little bit. Oh, that might be a bigger table. Yeah. Here. How about here? Let's move it over here. And move this. And if you like, just push these up one roll. We'll just make sure we put them exactly how they had them displayed. Okay. Um, Alrighty. I don't even know how many films I have here. <laughs> Lots. Let me count. Y'all usually get a large amount. Oh, I know. 9, 20, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, <laughs> so that is roughly $500 worth of Criterion. And that is not including the box set, the Ingmar Bergman box set, which is 39 film. I need to put a few of these back because <laughs> we're going to be doing multiple hauls and I don't just want to. Yeah, that's true. That yeah, that's good. They really need to release Stop Making Sense on Criterion. I love Silence of the Lambs, mm -hmm. uh, but I think I'm going to put it back because of how many times I've seen it. Yes, I have seen that a lot as well. Um, let me go through my maybes and my mm -hmm. best buy. This is a maybe. All right. Rushmore is a maybe. Uh, Rashomon, um, maybe. Okay. I'm definitely getting the player big robert altman fan i haven't seen all of his films i haven't seen shortcuts yet but the player is a really great film and i also love nashville i did not see nashville over there unfortunately i'm definitely getting the player um yeah i'm gonna put rafifi in the maybe pile for right now cool secrets and lies mike lee definitely getting it all right Sid and Nancy, because I am a misanthropic nihilist, I, <laughs> I definitely have to get Sid and Nancy. It has to. And this is the yes pal for sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, meantime, um, definitely getting it. Cool. Les Samurai, definitely getting it. Yep. The Killing, definitely getting it. I'll buy you one Jules and Jim. Don't say Jules and Jim. Say Jules and Jim. <laughs> sloppy. Um, definitely getting it. <laughs> Ghost World, gotta get it. I, I passed up Ghost You did World last time, I remember. Times. Yeah. <laughs> um, Inside Lewin Davis, definitely getting it. Cool. Funny Games, Mikhail Hanaki, my boy, definitely getting it. <laughs> I didn't say Hanaku. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm getting Graduation. Uh, this is one of my favorite recommendations from Carlos. I have to get this. Um, definitely getting Good Morning. Um, That's cool. Definitely getting Modern Times. I don't own any Chaplin on Criterion. This is the only Chaplin I've seen. I gotta get it. Um, All right. Bicycle Thieves, Essential Film. Have to get it. Essential for life. Um, Woman in the Dunes, Carlos is buying this for me. Uh -huh. um, Yojimbo and... See what I did there? Yo Jimbo <laughs> and San Jero, I have to get this. Honestly, I would not be able to pronounce that. Alright, let me see how many I have now. Quite a bit on the on the for sure for sure pile. I'm getting fantastic planet because I passed up on it too many times. It's really good. Blue is the warmest okay. color I'm definitely gonna get. Uh-huh. By the way, Perry, did you find this? I know you love that film. <laughs> Perry, told me, Perry told me he loved this film. This is a masterpiece. Um, even though I'm trying to wean down on what I'm getting, I have to get The Passion of Joan of Arc. I'm not a huge fan of silent film, silent film um, but this film is absolutely brilliant. Um, the I can't remember the main actress's name off the top of my head, but one of the greatest performances I've ever seen. I gotta get it. Cool. By the way, I found this. Oh! I found this, guys. Oh, Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. What happened again? Oh, we got it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> She's like, yeah. 
You know what? I'm definitely. I'm gonna get Dead Man. Um, cool. I'm gonna get Ace in the hole too. Oh man. <laughs> the breath. Uh, breathing heavy for sure. Uh, I'll put back Straw Dogs. Um, great film, but we have more sales coming up. I may get this later down the line. Mm -hmm. uh, Rushmore. Uh, I love Wes Anderson, but I'm gonna put this back for now. Um, so I have Rashomon and Rafifi. Let's see. I might put both of these back. Let me see where I'm at now. Oh, all Aaron, right. You're getting me one too, right? Yes. Uh, can you do me a favor then? Yeah. Can you get me seven samurai? Twenty-five bucks. Absolutely, my dear. Oh. All right. I'll put back awesome. Rashomon and Rafifi, and I'll take seven samurai because it's an essential film, and it's an amazing film, and I love Kurosawa, and I feel like I passed up on it way too many times. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put back. I'm putting back Seventh Seal okay. for a persona. Oh, I feel like it's a fair, fair, exchange. fair exchange there. Perry tries to figure that out. All right, um, this is mine. You want to go through my final selection? Sure. Is it? Is okay, it? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, Seven Samurai. All right. Ace in the Hole. All right. Dead Man. Passion of Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. Blue is the warmest color. Mm -hmm. Fantastic Planet. Yojimbo and Shanjiro, Woman in the Dunes, which Carlos is getting at for me, Bicycle Thieves, Modern Times, Good Morning, Graduation, Funny Games, it's not that funny, <laughs> uh, Inside Lou and Davis, Ghost World, mm -hmm. Jules and Jim. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at those cat-like reflexes. It's like, not today. Especially those are the ones you're getting, right? <laughs> um, I got you, I got you. Keep going. The Killing. The Samurai. <laughs> the Fish <laughs> at Chocolat. <laughs> Meantime. It keeps going. Sid and Nancy. Secrets and Lies. Oh. And The Player. There we go. This is, they put so much lacquer. That's crazy. You got so much damn lacquer on that thing. <laughs> Give me um, damn, so uh, uh, a yeah. little pile. What? So this is your official pile? Yeah. Yeah. Dang, bro. You're going in, son. <laughs> no, Don't never shake that cake. I'm also getting the Bergman box set. Oh, he's also getting oh the Bergman God. box set. <laughs> oh, the ultimate trifecta. Who wants to go next to you, Carl? Oh, I already went, technically, so you oh, can okay. go. Yeah. Okay, right. so I tried not to blind buy as much, but I think I ended up blind buying still. <laughs> so certain women, Kelly Reithart. Um, cool. I really like um, Wendy and Lucy. and. I hear a lot of her films are like very like similar and it, she just seems really like a promising director to cool. keep in touch. Tree of Life, I love this film, masterpiece. Cool, cool. Betty Blue, like I said, my friend recommended it and it looks really interesting. It does look interesting. The Ascent, also mentioned it. Um, another war film similar to Come and See, pretty closely related. Oh man, that's it. a tough one then. Being John Malkovich, of course, a fucking a modern day classic. That is really good. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. It's all Angerman. Nothing can be said. It's all. Right. It's just a masterpiece. Just yep. watch it. It's great. Yee -yee, the the infamous classic movie that one. Carlos gave us. Who's that guy on the comet? <laughs> <laughs> and um, this one is the one I want Carlos to buy for me. Is uh, oh. "Do the Right Thing" by Spike Lee. Hey. And it's a. Uh, it's not. You know, it's 20 bucks. It's good. It's, it's a good uh, price. And I'm also going to um, pick up the one car white box if they do have it up front. Cool. So Got more. They're just invisible right now. All right. All right, everybody want to stand? Yeah. 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 Hey, wow. All right, let's all stand in the line and show our stack. Off. One by one. Harry's going to win the dick measuring contest. <laughs> That's it. All righty. This one's for Eric, but I'm buying it. Yeah, this this one's for Perry, but I'm oh. getting it. Oh, this one's from Wait, Carlos, one? but he's buying it for me. Adorable. The one that you want. Which oh, one? Yeah. Remember? Uh, I told you I'd get one for you. And Are you going to buy one for me, too? Yeah. Oh, shit. For your birthday. Um, um, any one of these. Um, no, no, no. Go get another one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get, it's another, cool. get another one. <laughs> no. Get another one. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm going to get this out of the uh, You go ahead and grab, grab some more. Okay, I'm going to get this, then. All right. Lord, I'm getting the box out. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed our ramblings and us being 
nerds about film. Um, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you really enjoyed it. And um, we have other vlog videos of us going out criterion hunting from last year if you want to check those out. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. See you later. Yay!